Hello guys and welcome to a new series and I am jumping from one to another but this time it's different and a lot different because this is not a series about playing Minecraft it's about making things and isn't Minecraft the same you think? Yes and no. I'm talking about making a game and uh, it's uh, I'm, I'm just gonna tell you the premise of the game when it's like when I get a little bit further into this but um, I'm just trying to show you progress and this time I'm just gonna show you what I've made so far so what I did is basically I have the idea to make a game and I, I that the idea has been in my head for a while and I was like yes I'm gonna make it I'm gonna try to make it at least um, my experience because I'm gonna make this a server game so it's gonna be in Java in uh, on top of the bucket slash bigot API and that's like what most servers run on and um, I don't have too much experience but like I know some basic stuff like th this this is very simple I'm just let me show you yeah. uh, I want to remove that mountain over there and just uh, I'm just gonna do it this way you know just because that's way better oops missed there we go but what I want to make is like um, it's it's gonna be like a defense the core kind of game I'm not sure they probably exist already but I want that it, it's um, yeah how do I explain it well um, kind of like an upgrade game you start with the basic class you upgrade your stuff as you go um, based on your uh, uh, the coins you grab in the in the fields and stuff um, it's gonna it's gonna be called attack of creepers um, why is because um, the, we want to have uh, it's because the it's creepers versus the players really though the creepers are no non NPCs the creepers are actually should be players that's that's my idea um, I'm not I'm not sure if you're still following on um, basically simple gameplay premise is you start over here players spawn here um, the creepers should spawn on the other side there should be like some stuff in the field and creepers should try to blow up the defense of the players and defense of the players is, are gonna be like walls that are built between these pillars and a creeper like can increase its blast radius and stuff um, you can detonate as a creeper you could detonate or I'm just thinking of other attacks that could work uh, the thing is that the creeper does not have really have attack strength so as a player you have the advantage on hand to hand combat though the creeper has like a suicide thing like uh, an actual creeper where you could destroy everything that's that's basically the main premise of the game and in the end uh, the creepers win if you if they destroy the core and the players win if they survive for 10 uh, for 15 minutes yet but what I'm gonna do is I'm I want to just have like I want to have uh, to do be able to do like CA when I do CA start just uh, just this test command like that um, now nothing happens when I should when I do that it should um, um, it should play in all the walls in wool that's kind of what I want to create so I'm just gonna work on that. Uh, and I will um, talk to you when I have actually managed to do it. So I've done a little bit more work. As you can see, the area still looks the same. Um, nothing much has happened. Though if I do slash CA start, you will see that walls appear. And that's kind of what I want. And these walls are like easily explodable. Like if I, if I place a TNT here, and actually that's another thing I made so if I place in TNT here it will only blow up the walls as you can see there we go um, particles don't seem to happen <coughs> don't know what that's about would be cool if particles did happen though um, same with my explosive bow if I just shoot at a wall damn there we go um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have like a percentual chance that you blow something up and I might make the walls a little bit thicker so they are like three wide 
Um, that shouldn't be too difficult to do. So it's a little bit harder to go th get through them. Um, players can upgrade the walls so they become less breakable. So that's that's something to take in mind whilst doing this. But yeah, I'm 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 happy with what I've got so far. I re really enjoy it. Let me see. It's probably not oh, it's very loud. Sorry for any headphone users. There we go. Um, it's it's it, it works well. Um, though you like it's it's pretty good. I just got a Skype message. So yeah. Um, I wonder if does TNT ignite the other TNT? No, it doesn't. Okay, that's a good thing. I don't want that. Um, all right. Didn't test that yet. Listening live on camera. So that's what I got so far. Um, I, I might like make strategical points that you can blow up and like bridges you can blow up and stuff like that. I just I just want to have like uh, some sort of uh, area of effect kind of deal. Might even make traps and stuff. But yeah, let's first focus on the main game, which is going to be this side versus any side that's going to be over there. And getting coins and then upgrading walls, getting weapons and stuff like that. So yeah, I, uh, I will, I'll see what I can do with that. Though I think this is going to be a pretty cool game. Um, I think so, so far. Alright. Uh, I'll talk to you later in another uh, segment of this when I a little bit more um, and then you might be able to see some of the um, not the wolves what I'm probably gonna work on is like a pickup how that's gonna work how, how am I gonna pick up um, like how are creepers gonna pick up money and players gonna pick up money something like that I might make like a platform where you stand on so if they stand on a block Right, on a move event, stand on a block and the block is like, it's a gold platform. I might make it something like that. Um, like get a few blocks on the location, just test for the area and stuff like that. But we'll see about that when that's uh, ready. So I hope you will see a little bit more in the next segment. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let me get to work again. Well, I am here on the third clip and it's been a while. It's been a while since I have uh, done anything on this. Um, let me put my phone away, otherwise that's going to make a sound. Um, let me see. This here is some added mountains. That's what I did, but also worked on some techniques. So one of the things I did is I made the multi-tier walls. They were wool at first. Then I thought hardened clay would be cool um, because of the texture and you could use multiple of them. So this is the basic wall. So if I, let's say I fire, I still have my testing bow ready. So if I fire my bow, you'll see that this is pretty like devastating. Two blows and if we want TNT, it will get, definitely get you through. So two creepers could definitely pull this off. However, if I would say this to the last tier, so that's the black one. So let me see. Uh, set one five nine fifteen. All right. Um, this will of course be handled by the plugin at some point, but right now I'm using World Edit. If I fire a piece of TNT there, you'll see that the damage is considerably less big. I have to like fire a lot more TNT at it, and this is like three TNT at a time. This TNT bow is pretty strong. So yeah, this is like um, this is kind of like a huge difference. Um, the the like the white, the white is always completely destructible. So all the blocks that TNT grabs is actually this. This is like a eighty percent. Um, so it's twenty percent of the blocks stay, and this is fifty. And then it's I'm not, I'm not sure. I've got the numbers somewhere. Um, but like the the tiers and you of course in the game you should pay to the tiers and based on that I actually added another part which I'm gonna do um, let me see a start so this resets again there we go um, 
I wanted a few more things. Uh, one of them is like pass through areas. That's what I kind of had in mind. So you can pass through places. Um, as well as I discussed some things with people yesterday. And I thought a good thing that we could do is um, have like power ups where you can grab speed or something. Because as a creeper, you can, your only means of attack is uh, suicide. So when a player. Um, you you're pretty vulnerable to a player, um, so yeah. Um, and the way you can earn coins. So as a creeper, I'm I'm thinking should you, I think I want to have it so you can keep coins when you die. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add something that saves the coins. But right now it's I think I've set it to uh, two seconds. So when you walk over it, you you see you received a coin. So I've I've got a coin and then. I walk over again, I've got more coins. Um, so it keeps giving you coins, but you can't like keep, if you do it like this. Uh, thing is, people always want to get to this point, so you kind of have like the struggle. And if you want to win, you don't want to spend like you don't, if everyone is going to get a coins, you're never going to win. However, if the creepers are never improving, but the players are keep improving the walls, you're never going to win. So it's 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 um, it's this balance. You need to find a strategy to win uh, the game. Um, if players only go for the coins, they leave their base and and left behind, and it's done in a minute. Like the the key reapers win within a minute. However, if you if you have the right balance, have the right teamwork, you might actually get like a like a proper exciting game out of it. Um, yeah, that's that's. Like that's the premise of the game. I've I've kind of explained it before. Um, th they also added the suicide function, not very well yet. It's it's, it's like it doesn't really do much. Um, let me see. Uh, there was another idea. Let me s do this and then set this to the fourth tier to white. So from here to here, and I believe that the fourth tier is. A Nine, one five nine nine. Yeah, it's the fourth tier. One two. Yeah, it's the fourth tier. All right. So a creeper could be like, okay, players come from that side. Creepers can s uh, basically um, protect their coins by blowing up. So if I do this, it blows up. However, my like my uh, uh, coins got lost. So if I grab another gunpowder, you'll see that I if I do this, fresh drop, and then I blow up. It's it's I like I like that system. I'm just gonna keep it that way. Um, so players basically they can move it around in the inventory. They basically that's their trigger. And as soon as they drop it, they explode. The searching so there's no way of them to uh, actually accidentally get rid of it. All they have to do is drop it, and then boom, explosion created. Um, yeah, that's that's basically what I've got so far. Um, I need I need to make like parts of this. As you can see, like I need to make the map. I gotta make some features. Oh, there's another block of place. So you can take these. I'm 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 not sure how many coin uh, areas I'm gonna make. I, I've got like I, I I might need to do some remodeling of how I handle things. That's like it won't change any of the mechanics in game, but it will change how well I can work with new features and stuff. But yeah, that's that's kind of where I'm at right now. Um, the next step is going to be um, I'm 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 going to work on a way to keep the coins first. Um, I am also gonna find a way to upgrade the walls with coins and um, yeah I what I can also do let me see let me think let me think hmm yeah, I'm just um, thinking of what next to do. 
I guess, yeah, the upgrading walls, keeping the coins, and maybe set up spawn points. So that as a creeper dies, they spawn over there somewhere, and if a player dies, they spawn right up here, and maybe build some things. That's that's kind of what I'd want to do next time. However, I'm not going to do that in this episode. Um, I think for now this is a good first episode so far uh, as to showing you around what the game is actually going to be like and um, yeah I will uh, return to you in a next episode um, thank you for watching make sure to subscribe if you really liked it and I'll catch you later see ya